Hi guys. Ew. Hi guys. Mm, that sounds the exact same. Hey y'all. Mm, I am not country. I don't know why I just did that. Are we good? Oh, it's not on yet. Hi guys, welcome to Cory and Peanuts Hedgehog Vlogs. This is obviously my first video, so I haven't done much research or anything on what videos to do next or how this all works. So if you have any suggestions in the comments on what videos I need to do or what I need to change for my channel, leave them down below, it would really help me. Today's video, however, we're going to introduce me, Cory Hammond, and my hedgehog, Peanut, and then I'm going to give you a tour of his cage so that you have a feel of what it is in there for him. So, first of all, obviously, I'm still a kid. I'm 15 years old. So, if his cage isn't, like, perfect, I'm still working on it. I just got him a month ago. So, if it's not perfect, I'm still changing things, so don't worry. But he is still a baby, so I know that he doesn't need that much space. But he does have quite a big cage for how little he is. But I'm Corey. I'm a dancer. Uh, I was on Good Morning America for my dancing in a Halloween special. I'm on the Tremaine Performance Company for Tremaine Dance Convention, and I love to sing also. Now I'll go get Peanut to show you him because he's adorable. By the way, I'm sorry if you see this background moving. I don't have that big of a room. So, especially with Peanut's cage, I don't have that much room. So I just tried to put this in here, but I'm sorry if it's moving around a lot. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Waiting for? Mm-hmm. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Peanut! <laughs> he's a little grumpy right now. I just woke him up, but he's so cute and I love him so much. Peanut is a little over two months old now. I got him when he was about seven weeks old. Um, I got him from a breeder near me, about two hours away from me, and he was the last one, and I was so excited when I got to snag him and take him home with me. Um, he is very good at draining my bank account um but i love him nonetheless and he's my best friend stuff to know about my peanut boy is that he hates baths um he loves to sleep and when you wake him up from your nap he's really grumpy for a while although today he hasn't been very grumpy i took him out earlier and he hasn't been very grumpy Peanut loves free roaming my room, even though he's not necessarily allowed. Sometimes I'll put him on the floor and just let him run around for quite a bit. But he loves doing that, and he also loves pooping everywhere. He also loves doing this weird thing with his back foot and, like, making it hang over my hand. It's really weird. Do you want to show them your cage now? <laughs> so this is his cage, and it's the Midwest Critter Nation Small Animal Habitat Cage. So this is the top part of his cage. Right here, he has a little snuggle sack bag that I take him in when we go to the bathroom to like get his baths and all that. Um, he loves sleeping in this, especially because it's so warm. So sometimes when I'm like watching videos, I'll put him in this so that he gets the attention he needs every day. But he can just be warm and be with me. And then right here, we have two extra pieces of fleece. I love this bee print. It's so cute. Um, as you can see, I use fleece in his cage because it's a lot better for their feet. And it's also a lot less money in total for me. Um, and then right here, we have a picture of a hedgehog that looks exactly like Peanut with little glasses on. My mom got it for me at Hobby Lobby. And then we have his two little stuffed animals. We have a hedgehog Beanie Boo and a hedgehog Squishmallow. I'm going to put Peanut in his bag now because he started chewing on my shoes, which is totally fine because he doesn't ruin them. I just don't want him to eat any of the shoelaces and get it in his tummy because it can have some problems when he uses the restroom and have some urinary problems also. Um, sometimes he doesn't like going in the bag, but once he gets in there, he calms down and starts nestling himself in there. Is nestling a word? Nesting. I don't know. Okay, now for the storage at the bottom of the cage. Um, we have this cute little container that I made. Um, in here, we have two containers of dry crickets and two containers of dry mealworms. And then we have two toothbrushes. He likes this one more because it's like the one with multiple, well, not multiple, but like a lot of bristles. So it's really soft. And then this one he likes when he is in like a better mood and he just likes a strong brushing. Um, but sometimes I'll use these in the bath to really clean his quills. And then we have these 
yogurt drops for bunnies. Uh, he doesn't really like these, but sometimes he's in the mood for them. And bunny food is good for hedgehogs. And so is like guinea pig food and sometimes hamster food. But I wouldn't really mix other exotic animals. Like I know chinchillas, some of their food is not very good for hedgehogs. So I would just look out for that. Um, and then we have cute little nail clippers. They're really small, so that which is good for their little nails. And then we have these, once again, um, bunny and chinchilla food. I did look at the ingredients. So this chinchilla food is good, and that's because it's also good for bunnies. So anything that's really good for bunnies and guinea pigs is okay for your hedgehog. Um, but it just has like a lot of healthy nuts and flowers in it. And then we have these cute little cookies here. They're bunny cookies. Um, they're made from wheat, but they also have a little bit of natural sugars in it. So it's really good for just like an every once in a while treat for them. You don't want to give this to them like every day and put it in their meal. You just want to give it to them like every couple days as a good treat. And then here I have his uh, shampoo that he uses in the bath. It's gentle puppy shampoo. You really need to make sure that the any shampoo you get, you can get puppy or kitty shampoo. You really need to make sure that it's gentle shampoo because it can be really bad for their skin and it can just like cause burns and stuff. Like nothing you need to worry about, but you definitely need to avoid it because it's not good for your hedgehogs. Um, you definitely should not get anything scented. I have coconut here. Um, this was naturally, uh, flavored, so it's not too bad for them, but the owner said that he has no, or the breeder said that he has no reaction to scented shampoo, so this was fine for him, but you really need to make sure that when you do get your hedgehog, or if you have a hedgehog, that you need to avoid scented shampoo unless it is either naturally produced or the breeder or wherever you got it from said it's okay and then right here i have his food i give him cat food because that's what the breeder before me gave him and he loves cat food so it's okay uh and then just inside i have this little scooper to just scoop out the food and it gives him a good amount for his food sometimes i'll do a little less than a scoop just so that he doesn't get sick but that's his food and then here i have his bedding i know i said that i don't use bedding but i do put it in his little house that you're gonna see in a minute because it just gives him a nice place to dig and sleep better but it's just normal bedding i don't know what brand it is but it's just the brand that i've seen everybody get it's in a green bag at the pet store and then also in the bedding category, I have his little dig box. He loves this thing. I don't put him in there often because, like, he just sleeps in there. So I don't put him in there often. But when he's awake and I'm awake, too, I'll put him in there and he loves it. Uh, inside, it's just normal bedding with, like, little red pom-poms. Um, there's not many of these pom-poms in there. It's only on the top. But, yeah. Then right here, I have his carrying case. It's just nice when you take him home to have a carrying case instead of leaving him in the box because it can really stress them out if they can't see the outside. Um, inside, we just have bedding. And this is also really nice for vet visits if you ever have to take them to the vet, which you should get yearly checkups, if not, like, every couple months get a check checkup. Um, but, yeah. And then right here, we just have some toilet paper some paper towels that are apparently bent and we have some cleaning spray this cleaning spray is good for hedgehogs it doesn't have any bad ingredients in it and it also i make it dry before or i let it dry before i put him back in his cage after cleaning day um but what i do is when i'm not fully cleaning the cage and i'm just doing a little clean i'll just spray this like under the sheets where they are and spray the walls and sometimes i'll even spray the wheel if there's any like extra pee or any remnants on there um but he is fine with this just make sure that if you do use a cleaning spray that you're not using anything that's harmful for the hedgehog and then we have two towels right here. These are just for after bath time. You just wrap them up in a little towel. And then once they're mostly dry, you put them in like a snuggle sack or even just in a blanket and wrap them up and they'll be all good. But you don't want to leave them out like running around after a bath because if they do, they could get really cold and that could make them attempt hibernation. And then lastly on these shelves, I just have a couple small little blankets that I'll give him in case we're like on my bed or something and I just don't want him like 
peeing or pooping on my bed or like after a shower i said i'll wrap them up in a blanket or i'll put them in a snuggle sack just anything works just to keep them warm also a lot of those blankets you can just get at the dollar store or something like that you don't have to go buy an expensive blanket just to keep them warm okay now for the actual cage so i have this silent wheel right here this is really good because it has a wall on the outside hedgehogs don't have the best eyesight so it would really help them to get a wheel with a wall so that they don't fall out because that's something that they can commonly do um i just have a 16 ounce water bottle right there a bowl and that is one of the ball treats that has seeds in it and i do feed him don't worry i do feed him he just already ate that for today so until dinner time he's not going to get any more food because i don't want to overfeed him um and then over here we have his little bed that i'm talking about see he just has this bedding in there he likes digging in it and that really helps him fall asleep and then my newest addition to this cage is this little tunnel that i got from petco uh, I think it was just, like, Petco's brand of stuff. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But it's just a nice tunnel. It has an opening here. And sometimes he can squeeze through the wall here and get in there. Um, he doesn't really do much with this. He likes burrowing right in the middle there. But sometimes he'll walk in it and just walk around. And then we have a ramp right here. And I know that hedgehogs are not necessarily supposed to use a ramp. But I've been training him, um every couple days since he was little to get him to use this ramp and i even put this paper towel holder here so that it's easier for him to know where the edge is and he's finally learned how to use it so i just put that back in his cage and then up here my dad made me this little barrier so that he does not jump down because he does like jumping down a lot because he can't see the edge so he thinks that the ramp is there when it's actually not so my dad made me this barrier so he knows and then I got this little cuddle sack off of Etsy. He loves this thing. Um, I have to wash it every so often because quills get in there and then he won't sleep in there because obviously it's pokey. Um, and then up here we have another food bowl. This food I need to get rid of. It's been in there for two days. I only put this food bowl up here because when he does get up the ramp, sometimes he can get a little hungry. So I just put like a little food in there, a couple mealworms and some treats. Um, and then right here we have some paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. Um, some of them are paper towel rolls that I cut, which is why I said that. But he loves just knocking into these and knocking them over. And then right here we have a bunny chew toy. It's really good to get your hedgehog chews. Some of them won't like them. Some of them will just like knock them over like those and some of them like really need them so i would just recommend getting them in. if they don't like it it's fine you can return it um but he loves this thing he especially just loves crawling in it but you can see some dents here and there throughout the thing and yeah that's his cage we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. It really helps the channel and it knows that you guys like my content and I can keep making more of it. I'm going to try to post once a week, especially because it's summer now. I can spend more time with my little peanut. Um, and I'll film everything that I need to be filmed and that I want to share with you guys about me and peanut's adventures. And some of our vlogs, um, peanut may not be shown in it. It can just be some of my vlogs. Um, but a lot of them will be showcasing Peanut, Peanut's adventures. Uh, and so yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!